The former Atomic Kitten singer Carrie Kedona joined Loose Women Jane Moore, Colleen Nolan, Janet Street Porter and Linda Robson to discuss her latest book, Whole Again, Love Life and Me. During the discussion and what readers can expect from the book, the conversation turned to her tumultuous relationship with George K., one that hit the headlines after she accused him of assaulting her. Reliving what it was like during their time together, Carrie broke down in tears and admitted that she felt shame and guilt for letting her children down after witnessing the alleged abuse. George and Carrie first began their relationship in 2012 after knowing one another as teenagers, and the pair soon married in 2014. Five months after their wedding, Carrie gave birth to their daughter Dylan Jorge, and George became stepdad to Carrie's other four children. However, their marriage didn't last long as in October 2015, Carrie announced they had split up and alleged that the former rugby player had assaulted her. They finalized their divorce in 2017, with the singer taking out a restraining order on her ex-husband. Speaking to the Loose Women panel on Tuesday morning, Carrie relived the memories of the relationship and became emotional when she looked back on the trauma she felt she put her children through. She began, I think what I struggle with is that I put my kids through it. I panic. It has a hold on you and I think people who haven't been through that don't understand it. I remember coming on the show, and me and George had just split up, and I remember being on here and crying on the show, no one knew what was going on behind closed doors. The fear from George was so severe. Getting upset, Carrie explained, it isn't about blame, it is the fear. It is so difficult because my mum said she was waiting for the police to knock on the door to say that he had killed me. Trying to fight back the tears, she added, and what I struggle with is, George is dead. I have his little girl and this isn't about me bad-mouthing anybody because you all know how many times the police were called to my house. It, it is so difficult because I remember one time, George was covering up my bruises, and my mom was looking and asking what are those bruises from? I said oh, it's from having rough sex mom and he looked at my mom and she said that she knew that he knew that she knew kind of thing. I will never forget Molly gave a look of pure weakness, and I thought what am I teaching my kids? She expressed letting out her emotion. On July 2019, it was revealed that George had died from a suspected drug overdose, and was found collapsed in his home. A friend of Carrie's told the Mirror at the time, Gary is heartbroken, he's DJ's dad and she loved him once. She can't bear the thought of explaining to her daughter what has happened. Speaking about George's death, she previously told OK! Magazine that she doesn't know where George is buried but wished for her daughter's sake she did. She expressed, the sad thing is, I don't even know where he's buried. If I knew where his grave was, I would 100% take DJ to visit him. I could cry just at the thought of DJ stood at his grave. His family didn't even give me any of his ashes for DJ. I asked them so many times and I just never heard from them. I will never forgive them for that. I think it's cruel, she was his baby and she doesn't deserve to be treated like that. Loose Women airs weekdays from 12.30pm on ITV.